name is Katrina Jackson, and I'm the director of the Special Collections Research Center at Syracuse University Libraries. Today, we're featuring two war posters from the World War I era. These, in particular, focus on the American Red Cross's efforts to get people involved to support the very many facets of their work related to the war. We have approximately 600 war posters, and those war posters are from World War I, World War II, and we also have some from Vietnam. The American Red Cross was created before World War I, but it was at the time of the war that they really did a huge push to be a part of supporting war efforts like helping the wounded troops and having surgeons and nurses go overseas in order to tend to the wounded. It was approximately 20,000 of these volunteers were assigned to active duty and served overseas. A lot of them paid the price, so approximately 262 nurses died during that time period when they were assisting troops, American and allied, and prisoners of war. These particular posters are lithograph prints, which means, in a nutshell, they were created on stone plates. The artist used a grease crayon and did the drawing on a stone plate. Then he rubbed a chemical solution on the stone, then followed that with water on the stone. And then they put a piece of paper on top of it and put it through a printing press, press the image to the paper, and these posters were created. In a classroom setting, you could really do a lot of in-depth analysis or reading of these posters, looking at the positioning of the people in the poster, looking at their facial expressions, um, looking at the direct language and quotes used. So it's a really fascinating part of our history. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video clip of some of the many, many wonderful primary source materials that we have in the Special Collections Research Center at Syracuse University Libraries.